Okay guys, so in continuation of the part of the series, today we have the uh, Orch Heavy Fuel Car. So this is a continuation of my German army, uh, early Blitzkrieg, for both the, the real sort of early war and Operation Sea Line. So let's open this back by up. This is the first resin vehicle I've got from Bolt Action. So the first one that comes in there. Uh, Okay, that's the resin part of the vehicle. Pretty complete, that. It's a nice resin, actually. It's not soft. It's quite hard resin. If you've not seen this resin before, it's the first time I've seen the bolt action resin. It's a bit that is coming off. Obviously, where it's been attached to the uh, resin. Sprue, I forget the name, actual name for that at the moment, but uh, there we go. Need a little bit of tying up along the bumper, uh, a little bit there, it just comes off. There's a few little bits there that are going to need filing down, but most of that is very nice, very nice finish on it, just around the edges. Have the metal components. So we have six tyres. Because there's one, two, and then we've got these spur tyres which are sort of there on the side. There's the six tyres we have. A little bit of metal there, I don't know if that is anything. I'll have to double check that. And we have the lights. And the tow cable tow hook. Right, so this should be pretty straightforward. We'll tidy that up, we'll get these off, we'll tidy them up. And then what we'll do, we'll just stick the wheels on. I think they're all the same. Yep, they're the same. Uh, yeah, they're all the same uh, wheel. So we'll get them, we'll stick them on. And then we'll also put the headlights on, the headlights are just going to go on these front parts. Right, so we're back in one. Okay guys, so we've cleaned up the resin, pretty straightforward. Took that nodule off, turned it down, turned the engines off. Um, <clears throat> the chassis is slightly bent. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It literally is the tiniest bit out of shape. And I just noticed it when I was really staring at it. Um, not really going to be a problem. So this bit, yeah, that is a part. That is the uh, license plate. And that bit fits on the front there, like so. We have our two lights there and there. We have what I assume is a, as a fuel cap, which goes there. I'm assuming that. I'm not sure or not. It definitely goes there. Um, and then we have the hook for the tow bar, which goes on the back, just there. Because that bit there is the number plate next to my thumb. Okay, so where the wheels are concerned, a bit of an issue. Um, we have three good wheels and three uh, uh, not very well cast wheels. You can tell the difference probably on the camera straight away. That does are the right way around, see? Uh, that the centres haven't cast very well. It's not an issue for what I'm going to do because I'm going to weather up the tyres anyway. Uh, I'm going to weather up all the vehicles to make them like they're in battle. So I'm just going to take two of the good tyres to put in the centre pieces. And I'll probably put that one on one side and then the other's just with the two bad ones at the back. Uh, and then they'll be muddied up so you probably won't see that at all. I don't think that's going to be an issue for me. Uh, but if you wanted it to look a bit more pristine then you're going to have problems. So you either need to get in contact with Warlord and say you're not happy with the castings or what you can do if you've got some green stuff yourself, you cast the centre of that yourself and replicate it in green stuff stick in the middle. I've done something similar to that before or if you weren't happy with the entire wheel for whatever reason you can get some of that plastic um, remoldable uh, plastic you can put green stuff in and then you can remould the entire tyre and put it on. It's a long way to go but it's, that's if you, you don't want to contact 
Warlord. You know, it's just one of the wheels that's annoying you or whatever. So I'm not too bothered. I'm quite happy to uh, muddy these up so you won't see it anyway. Um, so yeah, so let's just stick this thing together. So obviously the, the wheels are going to go in those six slots. And so all the headlights go there. The front bar with the uh, number plate on goes there. I think what I'm what assuming is a fuel cap goes there. And the tow bar on the back. Stick it together, back when it's done. So here it is finished. It's a cool little car actually. There it is. There's the tow cable. I'm going to muddy up those wheels, do some oh, like battle damage on some areas on that. Some rust underneath. Car's been around a bit. Done. Looking good. Right. Look forward to seeing that painted and on the battlefield. Driving around my uh, commanders or maybe even my machine gun crews. Who knows? Right. So join us again next time. Uh, we'll be looking at some of the Hano Mags, the, the, the half track transport type things for the early uh, war Blitzkrieg Germans. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully see you again soon. Please like and subscribe, helps out the world. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.